Uh, we're going to make 100 gallons of organic soil. We're going to start off with two and a half gallons of Alaskan peat moss. Get a five gallon bucket for measurements, for clean and whatnot. Then the second one is a volcanic pumice. There's fine and there's the a little bit um, larger one. You're going to want both of them. Um, two largers and one fine one. And it's two and a half gallons of those ones too. We got the two and a half gallons of the fine volcanic pumice. Then you need the compost. This is really good compost right here, the Ali Mountain Fish Compost. And this one's a little bit more expensive, but a little bit better. It's the Malibu compost. You need two and a half gallons of it. So it's a three part. This is the peat moss is one part. Glacier rock dust is one part. And this is one part. So this is the Ali Mountain Fish Compost. Two and a half gallons of it. What you want to do is break up all the big clumps. Yes. Um, don't have a name brand because we put it in a bucket, but there's some oyster shell. We're going to get four cups of it. This is two. Hey, Linda. Let me get the, wait, is it one cup? Then we need um, one cup of glacier rock dust. And then some cascade minerals. Two cups. <clears throat> and then we need a quarter cup of dolomite. Calluses, the same thing as gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> and then mix all this up and repeat the process however much times you have to do it until you get your pot size filled. This right here makes seven and a half gallons. Uh, then we have some biochar we have to mix in. Biochar is actually, all it is is perfectly cooked um, charcoal. And you can make it yourself, which is recommended by everyone that makes biochar. This, this shit's like $30 a bag. And all it is is just perfectly cooked wood. Uh, it's crushed up into a powder, pretty much. But it's not, um, you can't have ash in your biochar. It's not biochar. That's just ashes. So biochar has to be 5% of your soil. We're gonna mix in three and a half cups. But um, it is possible to grow in 80% biochar. We're not doing that. <laughs> biochar is actually really weird because some people say that you have to activate it before you use it. Some people say it doesn't matter. How you activate it is by putting your biochar in with uh, glacier rock dust, uh, some flour, just different uh, amendments to have the biochar absorb all the nutrients so when you put it inside of your soil it lets them out. Some people say that it will suck up the nutrients from the soil if you don't um, have it already uh, charged and whatnot, but you know, you, you never know until you try. Try preference, I guess. Then we got some kelp meal. If you want to take a look inside of it. And some crustacean meal. 
That's straight calcium right there. And you want half a cup of each. Say per cubic foot. Oh shit, it's still playing. <laughs> per cubic foot. Virtual attention is not the same. Thank you. Dude, I was driving in the car, smelled up my whole car. It smells like, you know, yes. that's, the chicken that's that had stuff sex right with there. the cat. Oh. Is that something you smelled before? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I went through a Public weird experience. phase when I was 11. I made random animals out of sex and just threw them in a bag and shipped them.